A massive storm is unleashing heavy snow, rain, and hurricane-force winds across parts of the Northeast. That they would even take more paperwork and less, like if, like the Round Baker, I don't know if that came from like Broadway Panhandler or somewhere else. Like, so tonight we are putting name. together a benefit. It's called Preserving Haiti, which is going to bring together the New York City pickle vendors um, to raise awareness and money. And uh, we're hoping that people will come no matter that there's a blistering storm outside. And um, hopefully we'll be able to bring something together, including a silent auction, something that's going to be a worthy donation. Why, why would you change the light bulb? Because there's no light in okay, okay, I understand that it needs to be changed, but why would you change it? Because she's sick of waiting for someone else to do it. You know, I'm beyond angst. We're kind of just taking it one stride at a time. Right now, it's just getting it ready. Farts, so I'm going to have a fart. Awesome. Oh awesome. awesome. I'm hoping it's really good cheap. I hope so, too. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I got one, but now I got a whole thing of pickled tomatoes. Do you want a pickled tomato? How are you? Good, Good to see you. you. Thanks see for you coming. Well. Thank you. Does anyone famous eat your pickles? Oh, People yeah. Magazine was inquiring earlier today, so it's a valid question. Uh, not that I know of yet. <laughs> you know, we got a call tonight from People Magazine. Uh -huh. Get anyway. any famous people that like Bricks Picks pickles? Um, yeah, but you know, we like to protect the integrity of our clients. I'm not going to give up names like that. Yes, I like that answer. <laughs> this is so cool. Look, okay, this is from the Pickle People who could not be here, so we're going to be representing them. So these are our famous hot, atomic hot and spicy pickles. <laughs> Melanie, Jody, this is our very first customer, Dan. Hi, how are you? I'm a doctor. You're a doctor? Are pickles healthy? Honestly, they're not. They're not that healthy. Yeah. Okay, we'll talk to some other doctor. cut that out. <laughs> Do you like pickles? You don't have $10. But thank you for coming. These two I've roped in Teddy to help me. So they've been like great. It's like amazing. <laughs> Welcome to the fundraising event for Forgotten Children of Haiti. I just wanted to welcome everyone and thank you guys for coming on such a crappy weather night. Um, also, I, I'd love to you know, thank the vendors for being full on out here. Mother-in-law's kimchi, the pickle guys, Rick's Picks, um, Pickle People. We've got Kachi Farms. We've got McClure's. We have Brooklyn Brine. And Forgotten Children of Haiti help run runs um, fundraisers here in New York so that we can send it to Haiti for them to rebuild and to take care of their clinics. We have a silent auction and everything is up for grabs. Our favorite thing is the box of frogs, which is uh, dwarf African frogs um, in an eco-aquarium. <laughs> So whoever finishes their pickle first will win the yummy dough. Okay? On your marks, I'm going to count to three. One, two, three. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you win, hands down. with the tenaciousness of the actual vendors themselves and appreciated their efforts to come out for the event. I think the potential for something really big was here. All of the, the, the people, the, the camaraderie, the spirit, um, and actually the silent gift items, everything was in place except for the weather. We didn't make money, but I think the potential to make more and to do better is always there. So something to strive for for future.